Hello and welcome guys, today with a tutorial on Adobe After Effects and we are going to delete a car plate off of a car. So yeah, let's jump right in. So first of all, I'm going to show you my project that I made, uh, it was for either Oliveira and Bodybuilder. And you, you can see the car he's coming in with and you can see that I've deleted the car plate or more like the numbers and stuff on it and replaced it just with a white background. So yeah. I'm going to show you the project in Adobe After Effects. And sometimes if you start the project, there is going to come a warning that the GPU accelerated ray trace 3D renderer does not have enough free video memory, VRAM. So um, basically what you have to do is just clear the cache, the media cache in both programs, like uh, if you're working in Adobe Premiere Pro, also in uh, Adobe After Effects. We're doing this by going to the preferences, media, and then cleaning the media cache. Shouldn't be a problem for you. Sometimes it just hangs up, so you have to click somewhere else, and then again in the pro uh, in the program. Here the same edit, preferences, uh, media in this cache and empty this cache. You can see that we're 22 gigabytes, so yeah. Sometimes you also have to restart your computer to make it work again. So this is just a project in uh, Adobe After Effects. And here we got all our keyframes and stuff. Also the um, plate tracking data. And then the shape layer that I made for um, hiding the numbers and stuff on the car plate. As you can see, it's perfectly matched. Sometimes not that perfectly. Here are all the tracking keyframes. Also, the um, shape layer is parented, or yeah, it's parented to the tracking data, so I don't have to go keyframe by keyframe um, putting the position here and there. And yeah, it just saves up a lot of time. So let's recreate this. I'm going to restart After Effects just to make sure everything's on zero again. So let's just import um, our scene. I think this one was it. Um, just drag and drop it into the comp layer, uh, the comp icon. So it creates a perfect comp for you. Ah, no, it's the wrong clip. I'm just going to delete this again. Double click on the project file to open the uh, import file prompt. So this is the right clip. I'm just going to cut it right for me. Setting the in point right about um, where the car is accelerating. Yeah, just about here. Putting the in point right there. And the end point just about uh, too much. Yeah, here it's okay. So just drag and drop the endpoint. Then right click and click Trim Comp to Work Area to have a perfectly matched comp. And what we're going to do now is track our um, car plate. And we have to search for um, very contrasty uh, areas so that the tracker can match up the pixels right there in the area to get a perfect track. So make sure to check position, rotation and scale for the tracker. If you can't find it, click on window and then tracker. And now you have to search for pixels that are very high in contrast, like white and black is perfect. And yeah, you can largen uh, or enlarge the boxes just to make the area where the tracker is searching for that pixel. Uh, make it bigger so that your uh, track is also better, but it takes a lot of time more. So now just hit render or uh, track one frame forward so we can see what our track is doing and it's not messing up with the track. And yeah, just press until the end. As you can see for me, it's pretty good. Not even a single shake or something. 
which is good because we don't have to do it manually then. So I'm just checking um, if it's still there. And we are near the end. And there we go, our track is finished. Pretty well, as you can see all the points are fixed on our car plate. Now we have to create a new null, right click new null object. I'm going to rename it tra tracking data. Then click on edit target and choose our created tracking data null object. Then hit apply, make sure to use X and Y and as you can see, our null object is parented or the position is right on the car plate. And we are ready to go to um, remove, remove our car plate. So now choose the pen tool or just press G on your keyboard. So now click on the fill just to get the color of our um, car plate. Use the eyedropper tool to choose a good pixel right there. Yeah, it's about this grayish color. So there's the color code. And now draw a rectangle um, around the car plate to make it disappear and match really good. Bam, and it's gone. So I'm just going to rename it car plate uh, replacement. Yeah. And now you have to parent it with the swing tool, I guess, yeah, to the tracking data. And as you can see, it's pretty good. Just until the end, it's going a bit off, but we're going to do that manually. But yeah, the most part, or well, most of the part is pretty good track. Just one or two seconds that we have to do manually. That's a pretty good result. So let's do this. First of all, we have to go to our car plate um, replacement layer, go to the contents, shape, path, and then keyframe the path. And look where it's just going a bit off of the uh, car plate. And zoom in. And what you have to do now is create a new keyframe from there. Then again, uh, click V or yeah. You just have to click basically G and then V to select a single anchor point of this rectangle and to transform the shape. Sometimes um, there are some weird issues with uh, After Effects, but yeah, just figure it out as you see. I'm doing here and drop down so the numbers are gone. As you can see, we just fix it up. There's another bit where it's going off the screen uh, of the car plate. So what we have to do now is go to transform and position, but you have to watch out because um, of our tracking data, we created a lot of keyframes with the position and it could also mess up the whole screen. So basically just use the um, path of the car place replacement and don't touch the position keyframes. Just uh, as we did before. So go to this one. Click on your rectangle that we created with the pen tool and adjust the anchor points. Sec. Mm -hmm. And there. Also there and this one. I think it's a bit too high. So around there and there. Yeah. So this should be it, I think. Let's just scrub through. Watch the whole thing. And, ah, we missed a bit. Right there, just scroll down. As you can see, just pull it down again fairly easily. If your track is good, you don't have to do all that stuff manually if you're lucky, but as you can see, just one or two seconds aren't that a problem, aren't that big of a problem. So, this is the whole process 
for basically just fixing up your car plate and uh, replacing or removing the numbers with something. You could also write something in it now and track it to the um, to the null object so it sticks right onto the car plate. And what you can do now, because um, this looks really sharp uh, and it's a vector data that we created with our null object, you can basically um, create a mask around it and then feather the mask so it uh, doesn't look that harsh and rough and ah, rough. So create a shape, make sure it creates a, a mask and not a shape. I've used a rounded rectangle here and just pull it around as the size of the numbers there. Then press F to get the mask feather and just figure out which kind of pixels uh, is good for you and then again just stretch out the uh, mask just like we did with the rectangle so it looks more natural not that rough and so that good eyes on YouTube can see that you've removed the car plate. So as you can see looks very good but I missed some uh, numbers right there but that's not a problem just choose your uh, mask put it up again it's always the same stuff to do go to the keyframe adjust your mask adjust your uh, layer that you created And some uh, helpful shortcuts are H to get the hand tool, just to move your uh, layer, Z to get the zoom tool, or, or Z. I'm doing that just by scrolling in and out, works better for me. And pressing V to get the um, cursor to adjust your masks and stuff. So this is perfectly matched up now. As you can see there, looks beautiful. And yeah, guys, that's basically the, pro uh, the process. But to make it look more realistic, we have to um, put a brightness and contrast filter on our car placement uh, replacement layer. Because as you can see, the lights of the car are here pretty, um, pretty strong. And uh, it's directly lighting in our camera so that the overall um, brightness is pretty high. So we have to make some keyframes. Keyframes, And it's, yeah, the car plate color should be really bright right here, where the lights of the car are shining in the camera. And when the car, uh, when the lights go off, it must be a bit uh, more darkened, as you can see here. To make it look more realistic, ah, that's too much. Maybe like minus two, yeah. And now the car plate card changes while our car lights are going off. So the color looks natural and nobody can see that you did it in post-production. And yeah, this is the basic process of doing all that stuff of removing car plate and tracking and you can use it for other stuff like removing uh, some specific advertisements on the wall if you don't want to have them in your movie or tracking crosses that you made and yeah i hope you enjoyed guys uh, leave a like subscribe and share if you want i would really appreciate that one so yeah see you in the next tutorial and I also wanted to um, get some good advice of you, which kind of tutorials I should make now. And yeah, see you in the next part, Armageddon videos.